Hi everyone. In this video, we will learn delay line in trigger sweep and the dual beam CRO. So delay line in trigger sweep is nothing but in the horizontal uh, there are two deflecting systems in a CRO block diagram we have seen in the previous videos. So horizontal deflection system will take care of the horizontal movement of the electron on the CRO CRT screen and the vertical deflection system will take care of the vertical movement of the electron beam on the CRT screen. So in the vertical deflection system what are the different blocks we have observed only vertical amplifier. So in the case of vertical deflection system only vertical amplifier is there but in the case of horizontal deflection system we have three blocks trigger pulse generator followed by sawtooth waveform generator followed by horizontal amplifier and then we are giving it the signal to the horizontal deflection plates. So yes there are so many blocks in the horizontal deflection system compared to vertical deflection system we need to provide some delay in the vertical deflection system so that the peak value and the time period both reaches the plate at, at the same time otherwise there may be some loss of information. So this is the block diagram of this delay line in triggered sweep. So if you have taken the vertical deflection system, what are the different amplifiers? We have vertical amplifier followed by vertical amplifier followed by delay line and then vertical deflecting plates. Okay, we have discussed this block diagram of CRO in the previous videos. Once go back and see the block diagram, then you, then you can understand what I am saying here. <coughs> So, the input signal what I want to observe that signal is going to be given at the input of this vertical amplifier. In the vertical amplifier section, it is a wideband amplifier consists of two amplifiers. One is a flat input amplifier followed by main amplifier or nothing but BJT amplifier or it is also having three, three amplifiers, a driver amplifier and one more output amplifier. So, the effect input amplifier here it is given as a pre-amplifier and then followed by main amplifier okay so the output of this signal is having the signal what you want to display on the CRO screen the same output is fed back to the horizontal reflection system In the horizontal reflection system we have a sweep generator a trigger circuit this is the trigger circuit generator and this is the sweep generator nothing but a sawtooth waveform generator the output of this one is given through a horizontal amplifier and then given to the horizontal deflection plates. Okay, so we need to provide the output of this vertical amplifier before applying to the vertical deflecting plates. We have to incorporate some delay. This delay line gives some amount of delay that means it stops the signal until the same signal reaches from the horizontal deflection system. Okay, suppose C. If we are not using the delay line canceller, this is the uh, part of the signal that has been lost because see where we are having the sweep time this from here onwards sweep time starts like this here onwards sweep time starts. So from here onwards the signal will be displayed on the screen whatever the signal that comes under sweep period the same signal is going to be reproduced on the CRT screen. But here this is also there is also another uh, part of the signal that has been lost because of not having this in the sweep period. So what we need to do because this is all happens because when delay line is not there the vertical, vertical signal reaches first vertical signal reaches the plate first compared to horizontal plate. See here at this particular point <coughs> at this particular point if delay line is not there what happens suppose I have a frequency component 1 kilohertz, at 1 kilohertz I have 3 volts, at 1 kilohertz I have 3 volts. So this 3 volts amplitude peak is taken care by this path, amplitude is taken care by this path and frequency is taken care by this path. Okay, so that means in terms of electron movement. Okay, amplitude is taken by the vertical reflection system and the frequency is taken by the here by the horizontal reflection system. So exactly at 1 kilohertz there should be one, uh, 3 volts amplitude. Suppose if delay line is not there what happens the output of 3 volts so from the vertical amplifier directly goes to the plate and it produces here 3 volts like this. 
okay but in the wet horizontal reflection system what happens is as we have these many blocks it takes some delay to reach this particular crt screen so uh, that means it takes some delay it takes some delay so 3 volts uh, instead of generating at 1 kilohertz it may generate at 500 hz 500 hz because of the delay so that means it may be some part of the signal from this 500 hz to 1 kilohertz might be lost okay so this is the problem if the delay line is not there in general uh, uh, normal trigger circuits that's why definitely we have to use a delay line circuit in the vertical reflection system to stop the vertical uh, signal until it uh, until the horizontal re sweep reaches the crt screen okay this is what the delay line in a uh, trigger sweep there are some explanation points are also given you can go through this so next one is a dual beam cro dual beam cro by seeing the name itself we can understand that dual beam how many beams are there two beams yeah, generally a cro already we know in the laboratory when we are using the cro there are two channels channel 1 channel 2 what is the significance of channel 1 and channel 2 suppose if you are taking any circuit which is under, which is under test a circuit under test and applying the input okay let us consider the circuit under test is an amplifier i have given an input voltage of 5 volts and i have got the output voltage as sine wave and 8 volts <coughs> That means the input signal is being amplified after passing through this amplifier or circuit under test. Okay, so a 5 volts will be changed to 8 volts. So that means how many signals we need to observe here? Two signals. So two signals both at a time we need to observe. Both we need to observe. So in such cases we have to go for the uses of both the channels to observe parallelly the input and output waveforms okay so this is the use of a dual beam dual beam two beams are there so the block diagram on the cro is like this see there is nothing addition there is no a new uh, in this particular block diagram everything is already known but what is the difference here in the normal block diagram what we have seen in the cro there are one set of vertical deflection plates one set of horizontal deflection plates in the previous block diagram of the CRO. Basic CRO has this one. Basic CRO. But if you see this particular block diagram, these, is, these are the horizontal deflection plates and these are vertical deflection plates. These two are these two are vertical deflection plates. So how many sets of vertical deflection plates now? So there are two vertical deflection plates and one horizontal deflection plate this is for <coughs> dual beam this is for dual beam CROs okay two vertical deflection plates because we need to generate two signals we need to generate two signals so two signals and nothing but amplitudes may be different so that's why we are taking amplitudes may be different or frequency may be different that's why we are taking two different uh, uh, channels for what and as well as two different vertical reflection plates okay so signal a this is the first signal you are going to apply this is the first signal let us consider that it may this may be the input signal for the circuit under test and this may be the output signal for the circuit under test so input signal is passing through a vertical amplifier what are the different uh, amplifiers in the vertical amplifier section pre amplifier followed by main amplifier so pre amplifier is nothing but your fat amplifier and main amplifier is nothing but bjt amplifier delay line can be incorporated in between these two or even after the completion of the main amplifier also we can incorporate this delay line there is no problem okay delay can be introduced at any place in this vertical reflection system so vertical reflection system from here to here it is vertical reflection system one vertical reflection system similar type of vertical reflection 2 is also there with a signal b so this is vertical reflection system 2 which is having the same blocks again okay so the outputs of these uh, vertical reflection amplifiers is are connected vertical reflection systems are connected to individual vertical reflection plates individual vertical reflection plates so let it be this is 1 and this is 2 okay 
So next is coming to this horizontal reflection system. I already told you horizontal reflection system needs only three blocks. One is a trigger circuit followed by switch generator and followed by horizontal amplifier. The output of this horizontal amplifier is given to horizontal reflection plates. So trigger circuit, I have already explained in the previous video. Trigger circuit can take signals from line voltage, internal supply and external supply. Okay, so this is the line voltage and this is the external supply but how many internal internal signal is generated from where this is the signal what you are going to display so the same signal after amplification that we are taking at the input of this uh, uh, switching network to generate this uh, trigger circuit so uh, yes there are two types of input signals again two selections will be there for this switch a and b a is the first signal b is the second sec second signal so in the previous case we have seen uh, the what is that trigger can take a trigger circuit can take input from line <clears throat> line is nothing but electron gun voltage electron gun voltage 230 volts line input voltage that is can that can be considered uh, in external or internal how many internal circuits are there that many input signals we should take here there are two signals so a and as well as b Okay, again we know already the output of this one is passing through a sweep generator and then horizontal amplifier and given to horizontal reflection plates. Okay, so this is what the operation of the block diagram of dual beam CRO. Dual beam CRO. Thank you.